pathological obsession with horses turns into a story that isn't for the faint of heart. And that story is Equus, which opens tonight at the Fulton Theater in Lancaster. And joining us to talk about it is Kevin Early, who plays Martin Dysart in the show. So thanks so much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you so much for having me on and for supporting the Fulton Theater as much as you guys do. Of course, we, we love it. So Equus is one of the uh, more adult shows. Uh, yes. Not one that you're going to bring the kiddos to, but it's a story that was written in the 70s, still performed today. Why do you think it's still relevant today? It has a lot of amazing themes that that um, that, that come up every every too often in society today on mental health, um, and I think that's what what um, Peter Schaefer really wrote something in the '70s that that people can connect to. It's 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 about keeping an eye on your neighbor, about keeping an eye on your family, about keeping an eye on everyone in your life and in your community, so that some tragic event doesn't you know make us all really go back and look at, okay, now this tragic event happened and now we gotta look at why. Why, what are the, pick apart all those little things. Why did those specific magnets in that person's life snap together and, um, and now we have to pull them apart and say, okay, why did that happen? Why can't we figure out, and Dysart's trying to figure out, why does that have to happen in the first place? Mm -hmm. Can't we, as a, as a society, get people the help that they need so that we can see that track. If we can see that somebody's on that path, can we, can we break those magnets apart and, apart and say, you know, let's, let's not let, let that happen again. And it's something, while entertainment is also, also something very deep, and you're sharing yes. that with the audience. So what is that like for you guys on the stage? You know, it's. It, I think it's going to be. It's gonna, because we have opening tonight. Tonight, we've only had a couple of preview audiences, but they've been really amazingly responsive. Um, sometimes in their silence, um, because it is a lot to take in. Is it's a lot to think about. Um, because not only are we watching this journey of um, of Alan Strang, um, but we're watching Martin Dysart have this also, you know, epiphany and sort of breakdown and midlife crisis of, is does he do the right thing by 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 delving into this child's you know passion and what he has this passion for these horses and even though he does this one terrible thing he doesn't feel like he even has an iota of that passion that this this child has for for horses and he's 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 jealous of that you know but if you look at his own life and from the outside perspective his passion for helping children is what his passion is but because he doesn't think he can break the chain of events that still are happening today, um, he doesn't know if it's, is it worth it, you know, or, or, or can he continue doing it? It's definitely, like you said, it's something that's thought provoking. What do you think is the number one thing that people are gonna take away from this show? Uh, <laughs> besides hopefully coming back to the theater more and more, because this is one of those pieces that it won two Tony Awards when it, when it first came on Broadway, um, it's been revived by, by Daniel Radcliffe and, 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 uh, and, and got a rebirth there on, on Broadway as well. But it, it really is a, 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 such a, it's a cliche, but it's a classic piece of theater that really does, um, it's, it's what the Groff series at the Fulton was made for. It was made to, to, to shock audiences and sort of really make them think and really make them want to come back to see deep, meaningful pieces like this. And, and so if you are a do theater it tonight. Owner, yeah. starting tonight, to, here we go. Starting tonight, there you go. Okay, Equus, <laughs> it's not recommended for those under the age of 17, so yes. leave the kiddos at home for this one. Yes. Performances run through March 3rd. If you want more information, you can check it out on fox43.com. Kevin, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you so much.